Hi, first graders. Today we are going to be completing a reading lesson together. You are going to need your whiteboard with lines on it, your whiteboard marker, and an eraser. Let's take a look at our first activity. Our first activity is going to be reading a poem called Rhyme Stew. That's the title of our poem, Rhyme Stew by Kathy Darling, illustrated by Ruth J. Flanagan. As we read through each line in our poem, we're going to think about what the rhyming word could be that rhymes with the last word in the sentence. We'll do the first one together. Let's make a rhyme for you. We're going to think of a word that rhymes with you. Look at the picture. What could it be? You rhymes with stew. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's make a rhyme for hot. What rhymes with hot? Look at the picture. Pot. Let's make a rhyme for cook. The picture shows us hook. Let's make a rhyme for spoon. Look at the picture. Moon. Let's make a rhyme for meat. The picture shows feet. Let's make a rhyme for rice. Look at the picture. Spice. Let's make a rhyme for beans. The picture shows us jeans. I want you to listen as I read through the poem. Let's make a rhyme for you, stew. Let's make a rhyme for hot, pot. Let's make a rhyme for cook, hook. Let's make a rhyme for spoon, moon. Let's make a rhyme for meat, feet. Let's make a rhyme for rice, spice. Let's make a rhyme for beans, jeans. We are going to move on now to reviewing some sounds that we have already learned. This is the R sound on the armadillo card. Let's look at a few words that have the R sound spelled A-R. I want you to look at the picture with your eagle eye, and then we are going to blend and read the word. Let's blend. P -r -k. Let's read park. Awesome job. Look at the picture. Let's blend. F -r -m. Let's read farm. Now we are going to take a look at our next sound. Our next sound is the W sound on the washer card. The W sound can be spelled in two different ways, W and WH. They both make the W sound. Look at the picture. Let's blend. W, A, G. Let's read wag. Look at the picture. Let's blend. W is whiz. Awesome job. Remember, WH makes the W sound in whiz. Look at the picture. Let's blend. W a k. Let's read whack. Here's our next sound that we're reviewing. The sound is the sh sound on the shell card. Look at the picture. Now let's blend. Sh a k. Let's read shack. Look at the picture. Let's blend. Mm, ah, sh. 
Let's read mash. Here's our final sound that we're reviewing. This is the or sound on the stork card. Or is spelled O-R. Look at the picture. My favorite place. Let's blend. St or. Let's read store. Notice we did not say the E sound. The E did not say its name. That is our magic E or our silent E. We will learn about why this E didn't make a sound later on at the end of first grade. Look at the picture. Let's blend the or n. Let's read thorn. We know the sound er on the bird card, but today we are learning a new spelling for the er sound. Er can be spelled e a r. This makes the sound er. Let's look at a few words that have the er sound with the E-A-R spelling. Early, read with me, early. Oh, we're tired when it's early in the morning. Earth, read with me, earth. We all live on planet earth. Learn, read with me, learn. We like to learn at school, learn. Heard, read with me, heard. He heard some music, heard. Now we are going to move on to blending. So at this point, you can grab your whiteboard, your whiteboard marker, and your eraser. Let's write our first word. E, A, R, N. If you need a moment to pause while you write the word, go ahead. Where is the er sound in this word? The er sound is spelled E-A-R. Underline the letters E-A-R. That makes the er sound. Now we are ready to blend. Let's blend. Er, n. One more time. Er, n. Now let's read. Earn. Earn means to get money for doing something for someone else. We can earn money by doing a job. Where is the er sound in this word? Is it at the beginning, the middle, or the end? The er sound is at the beginning. Let's write our next word. P-E-A-R-L. Pause the video if you need some more time to write this word. Where is the er sound in this word? The er sound is spelled E-A-R. Underline these letters with me. We are ready to blend. Blend with me. Er, 
One more time, let's blend. P -er -l. Now let's read together. Pearl. A pearl is a type of stone or gem that's inside of a clam. Pearl. Let's erase and move on to our next word. Here's our next word. S E A R C H. Pause the video if you need some more time to write the word. Where is the er sound in this word? The er sound is spelled E A R. Let's blend. Blend with me. Search. One more time. Search. Now let's read together. Search. Search means to look. Sometimes we have to search for something that we lost. Search. Let's erase. Here's our next word. L E R L E A R N E D. Pause the video if you need some more time. Where is the er sound in this word? The er sound is here in the middle. E a R. Let's get ready to blend. Uh, er, mm, Let's blend one more time. Uh, er, mm, Let's read. Learned. I learned a lot at school. Look at the ed ending. In this word, the ed ending sounds like this. D. Learned has the d sound spelled ed. What does it mean when we add ed at the end of the word learn? Adding the ed changes the meaning of the word. Ed means something happened in the past. Someone learned in the past at school. Someone learned yesterday. Someone learned last week. Ed means something happened in the past. Let's move on to our last word that we will blend together. Our last word is spelled like this, capital E, A, R, L. If you need some more time, then pause the video here. Where is the er sound in this word? The er sound is at the beginning of the word. E A R. We also have an uppercase letter that tells us that this word is a special person or place or thing. Once we read the word, we'll be able to figure out why this is uppercase. Let's blend. Er, ooh. Let's blend again. Er, ooh. Now let's read. Earl. Earl is someone's name. Remember, we always use a capital letter at the beginning of someone's name. This is what your seesaw assignment will look like. At the top, it says sounds and spellings. 
underneath it says the sound that we are, the sound and spelling that we are practicing. Er, as in early. Your job is going to be to use the move tool to move each word to the correct picture. Let me show you an example. Let's look at number one. This picture shows pearl, a pearl inside of a clam. Let's look for the word pearl. Which one has the p, p sound? Pearl. This word is pearl. I'm going to use the move tool to move the word pearl to the correct picture. There is just one example for you so that you know how to complete this page. I want you to do numbers two, three, and four on your own after you, after you do number one, just like this. You all did such a great job learning the er sound with the new spelling E-A-R. And you also did such a fabulous job reviewing some of our sounds that we have learned already. There's one of our words, learned, that has the er sound. Again, great job, and I will see you all very, very soon. Don't forget to complete that seesaw activity. Click that green check mark when you're done to turn it in. Bye, first graders.